West Side neighborhood still reeling after an apparent domestic dispute turns deadly and blood is literally tracked from house to house. A man was stabbed to death. His ex-wife was injured. This happened early this morning on Spring Tree Road. As Channel 4 Scott Johnson tells us, police still have not released any names. Gory scene out here on the west side startled people who live around here as the woman ran out to a neighbor's house all bloody. This is shaken up people who live around here. Blood stains stretch between two homes on Spring Tree Road where investigators say there was a domestic incident between a man and a woman. Both had been stabbed. The man later died at the hospital. Police say the woman ran from her home to a neighbor's home for help. I'm rushing to the door and me and my mom meet at the door and all we hear is, oh my God, somebody please help me, please help me. I've been stabbed this. Please help me call the police begging for her life. We're getting conflicting reports on whether the man who died was the woman's ex-husband or ex-boyfriend. Neighbors do say that two had a relationship and it was scary to open their door to see a woman with stab wounds to her chest, shoulder and hand. I was terrified because I was like, oh my God, Lord, please do not let this lady die on our porch. Like we want to help her to the best of our ability until the police and ambulance come. And it was just so scary. I've been in touch with the sheriff's office who says there have been no calls for service to this home in the past year. There were a couple in 2014, but it's hard to say whether either of the people involved in those incidents lived in the home at that time. One question yet to be answered is whether the woman will face any criminal charges. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says with all the blood left at the scene, investigators may be able to determine whether she was the victim or not. They'll make a determination on that after they gather all the evidence. Um, see what happened. They may even interview other family members or neighbors who may have heard something or know of any history of violence. So they'll take all that into consideration before they determine whether or not to file charges. Now in the neighbors we spoke to, no one knew of any problems in this home, so this did come as a surprise. On the west side, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.